Maybe I should impulse purchase a hairbrush. Ladies who vlog, drop verbal bombs, telling the world we up to something, sharing the love. Yeah, tell them who we are. Hi guys, it's Nicole and it's Wednesday on Tote's Awesome Channel and we are talking about our impulse shopping habits, of which I have many. Um, but, you know, I was going to do this vlog before I left for work this morning and then I wound up getting, wound up getting crunched for time and didn't. And I'm really glad I didn't because now I have a new, like, impulse shopping story to tell you. Um, so I was sitting at work today and my phone goes off, little, like, text message. Uh, your order from Amazon is shipping. And I'm like, What? order from Amazon. What are you talking about? So I'm like, log on, blah, blah, blah. Apparently Saturday morning at 7.45 in the morning, I ordered this like DVD holder disc sorter thing, which I already have one of, and I had been thinking of getting another one. And actually this very morning I was like, I really should order another one so I can organize the rest of my DVDs. It's really kind of awesome. Like you can program everything in. I might've talked about it before. Where was I going with this? Oh, right. I bought one from Amazon, apparently, Saturday morning. It wasn't even an exciting impulse purchase. I just can't believe I have absolutely zero recollection. And the best part is, is I went into my Gmail to see if I had a receipt, and I had actually archived the receipt and labeled it with my receipts and order info label. What? How? I'm much better now that I don't have Amazon Prime because apparently that like extra free two day shipping was enough to tip me over the edge. I am pretty bad with the Amazon one click to my Kindle. Like one day I actually walked by a movie poster. I think it was for one day and I saw that it was based on a book. And I was like, whoa, that's, I want to read the book before that movie comes out. And I just, I had 3G and I was like, do, 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 do. looked it up on Amazon, hmm, purchase one click to my Kindle. I have yet to read the book and to the movie. CVS and Target are bad in general. Those are my two like super weak stores and I, I know I'm not alone in that. But I used to live like down the street from a CVS and I, I did, couldn't come home from work without stopping in. It was kind of ridiculous and I'm pretty sure the people knew me. And it was in Chicago so I kind of wonder if they wonder what happened to me. You know, because I'm very important to them like that. Sometimes I can kind of curb my impulse purchasing by going around a store and I don't feel crazy because my friend Laura said she does this too and actually like trying stuff on actually putting stuff in my cart or basket or bag or whatever and walking around with it for a while and then I'm okay putting it back it's like I just wanted the shopping experience without the actual take home or hit to the bank account part I will say though for a lot of purchases like I will research the crap out of it or I'll deliberate the crap out of it before I actually do something about it I will finally look at it and be like, listen, I've been thinking about getting this damn purse for six months. Like, how about I just go and do it already? Because clearly I really want it. Uh, which I'm about to go do for some snow boots that I've been thinking about getting for like the last two winters and they're still available. And then every time I'm like, okay, I'm going to purchase them. It's actually February and they're all sold out. But they're fuzzy and cute well, on the inside. They're like plastic and water repelling on the outside. All right. Good night. I will see you guys next week. Bye.